So Charlotte's growing, but is it a little bit too late to move here? Did you miss the ball like Bitcoin and everything else? Well, you're going to find out in this video. So if you're looking for everything Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas, including South Carolina, you've come to the right channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to know every time I post a video, go ahead and hit that notification button. I get calls, texts, emails, Zoom invites every single day from people just like you looking to move to the Charlotte surrounding areas. So if that's you, whether it's nine days, 90 days, nine months, nine years, I'll be here. Give me a shout, shoot me a text, a call, or an email, and we'll get connected and make your move exactly what you want it to be. So let's talk a little bit about Charlotte, its growth, what's going on, and did you miss the ball? Is Charlotte full? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. Charlotte as a whole is a very large city. Now, if you're coming from New York or LA, it might seem really, really small. But when it comes to other North Carolina cities, it is the largest. Now, the numbers are all over the place when it comes to what the actual census data is. But as it was told to me a long time ago, and I saw the article on it, back in July of 2017, Charlotte and the surrounding areas hit over a million people in the population. Now, if you do check just the city of Charlotte, you're gonna see that the population is somewhere north of 800,000, close to 900,000. But let's just put it into perspective. We're somewhere between 1.2 and 900,000. That's a lot of people. So. Are there still houses available? Should you move here? Is this gonna be the right spot for you? There's a few things that I think you should take note of if thinking about moving to Charlotte. One, what's the lifestyle that you're looking for? Now, if you're coming from a big city and you want that big city feel, Charlotte still has that, and I think it's going to only expand even more, but it's also gonna come with a price tag. If you want that city experience on a daily basis and live in it, that means you're gonna to have to be closer to the center of Charlotte, where most of those shops, businesses, and homes are. That means the price is gonna be a little bit higher. Now, what is that price? Well, it depends upon what neighborhood you're in. More than likely, if you wanna be in the hub of Charlotte, you're gonna be over a million dollars for a property. But there are plenty of properties outside of that main hub of Charlotte, further south, that are also gonna be in the millions. There's also a lot that are in the 400 and 500 thousands. Again, it depends upon what house you're looking for and how large. For example, because I know you guys want examples. If you're looking for a five bedroom, 3000 square foot home that's newer and you want to be right in the heart of everything on the south side of Charlotte, maybe, maybe over by South Park. Yeah, you're going to be over a million dollars. That's just how it is. But if you're looking for maybe a three bed, two bath, you're okay with 1800 square feet, you might find a home in the 700s in those similar areas or 500s if it needs a little bit of work. So there's a lot of variation there. Second thing you need to think about whether Charlotte's a good fit for you and whether maybe it's overgrown at this point in time. Are you interested in being in the suburbs? Now, when I say suburbs, that has a different feel for everyone coming from across the country because every part of the country has a different style of suburb. The really cool thing about Charlotte and the way that it's set up, if you look at a map, the 485 belt circles all the way around Charlotte and those suburbs or other towns outside of Charlotte, Charlotte proper, are all lining that corridor. In addition, they also line the I-77 corridor. Very different from areas like Dallas, where it could take you forever, like an hour and a half to get to the other side of Dallas, it seems, and some of those suburbs. Instead, Charlotte, you can circle the entire Beltline in 45 minutes, but that means you're going from point A back to point A. So in most parts of Charlotte, you can get there in 35 minutes, max. Now, again, depends on your start and finish point and how fast you're going. The point that I'm making here is, if you're okay with not living in the city center, there are so many opportunities in the suburbs around Charlotte that are their own little towns, their own, honestly, subset of Charlotte. So I have a client, for example, right now looking to move to South Carolina, and the same goes for there. It's still considered Charlotte, even though it's Rock Hill or Fort Mill or Lake Wiley or Clover, people say, I live near Charlotte when you're moving here. So it's totally a part of it. So being outside of the actual city of Charlotte and having a different town such as Huntersville or Davidson or Denver or Harrisburg as your address, if you're fine with that, you can find some amazing properties. But here's the cool thing. 
outside of a city center, which I'm considering within the 45 belt, just for reference, outside of that, you do have more opportunity for a larger home, a larger property, and some interesting developments in communities, such as ones with pools, etc., that you can get into for far less than what you can in the middle of Charlotte. So the farther out you go, the more you get for the dollars you spend, which is important to a lot of people. Third thing to consider, what type of community do you want? So I hear this quite a bit, and coming from outside of the state, a lot of people ask me, hey, I'm looking for a gated community. Now, in some parts of the country, an actual gate at the beginning of that community that lets you in if only you're supposed to be there is really important, especially for crime and things of that nature. It's safety, right? You want your kids to be safe when they're playing out in the street or you just want to feel safe. Here's the cool thing about Charlotte. Yes, we do have some gated communities. And when I say Charlotte, I mean Charlotte and the surrounding. We have some gated communities, but most of them are north of a million dollars for the homes that are inside. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's not really my price range. I want a reasonable price range, maybe in the 500s. Can I get a gated community then? You can get the idea of a gated community. What do I mean by that? It's gonna have all the feel of the interior of a gated community. You've got your amenities, your pools, your, your you know, streets, etc. They all have the feel of a gated community. However, there's not an actual gate at the front. That's the big thing. So while yes, you can get a gated community feel, it might not have an actual gate. One of the great examples of this is the Palisades. The Palisades have a variety of price ranges and it's not necessarily gated, but you've got equestrian facilities, you've got fitness facilities, tennis courts, a golf club, anything you could think of, it just doesn't have a gate. The same would go with Ballantyne Country Club. Ballantyne is a really prestigious area in Charlotte, and one of the biggest things that you're gonna see is that there's no gate, but surprisingly enough, the homes are north of a million dollars. Why? It still has that feel, and it has the amenities that you truly need. That's a big deal. So let's talk about the next piece that you might wanna think about if you're wondering if you've already, or Charlotte's already outgrown you. What city do you wanna live in in the future? So I am not a fortune teller. I know that my crystal ball is on back order from Amazon, but the fourth thing that I will tell you when it comes to you going ahead and moving into a neighborhood or an area is what's the future growth? We are slated to have a growth rate similar to Atlanta. Now I'm not saying we're gonna have millions of people in the next couple of years, but what I am saying is there's a lot of growth opportunity and what's really fueling that are a few things. One, affordability of Charlotte and the surrounding areas. Your dollar goes farther. Number two, the policies that are being put in place. Charlotte, from a political standpoint, is a very even keeled, when I would say a Republican and Democratic, we've got a mix of both. And depending upon what town or suburb you're in, it leans a little one way or the other. But the nice thing is it's really even keeled, which means there's conversations happening. So we actually have forward motion in Charlotte, which attracts a lot of people of different backgrounds. The third thing, this is the second biggest banking capital in the United States. Now, say what you will about banking, but banking truly does run the economy and pushes the economy. We've seen that year after year after year. So by having a really strong hub here in Charlotte for banking, that's going to bring people from all across the country, whether you're a CEO or someone in the, uh, I would say the chief operating kind of spectrum, or you're someone who works with those banks. Maybe you're somebody who works in mortgages or you're working with loans, you're working with something in the background, whether it be high level clients or your average Joe like me, that's gonna bring people in. In addition to that, where you have money flowing, other industry tends to take off, which is why we see Charlotte as a major hub for not only small businesses starting up and launching and being successful, right? That's the goal is success because I have a lot of clients that are moving here because of the advantages of North Carolina, and we'll get into that. Um, but along with that, you also have the mid-range larger companies that have started to come in. Lowe's is one of those companies. Lowe's Home Improvement has its hub here, as do dozens of other major companies across the country. Now, I'm mean, coming back to small businesses. There are some major advantages, not only tax-wise, but getting started as a business owner here in North Carolina which is allowing not only people that live here to launch their businesses, furthering the economy, making Charlotte stronger and able to expand more, but there's also a lot of people, small businesses moving into the area because they see those advantages. So the other thing you're gonna to wanna to look at when it comes to why Charlotte is booming, it is a huge hub for people to start moving to this area. 
the more people that come in, the more work that is done, the more in, uh, infrastructure can be built, et cetera, because of the funding that's coming into the city. So what does that mean for you when you're moving here? Well, it means there's gonna be a lot of expansion over the next couple of years. Even where I live, which is the Northern quadrant of Charlotte in the Prosperity Church area, which I'll do a video on that because I love that area. Even in that area alone, 20 years ago, that area was a backcountry road. Now it's a four lane road. There's all kinds of development that's taking place. The 485 belt loop has completed only a few years ago, even though it feels like it was a long time ago, sometimes feels like yesterday there's a lot of growth and expansion, which means the outskirts of Charlotte, the areas like Huntersville, Harrisburg, Concord, Pineville, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, South Carolina, Belmont, Gastonia, Kannapolis, all of these areas are starting to expand and grow. And the nice thing is, it's giving them the opportunity for the growth that they need because they're getting people moving into those areas and people moving out of the Charlotte area because it's more affordable. So all of that in a nutshell, is it too late to move to Charlotte? I don't know, I'm gonna let you make that call, but I would say because of the opportunity of not only land and development just outside of the 45 Beltline, Charlotte is not going to stop growing. And the nice thing is it's not gonna stop having room for everybody that wants to call it home. So until next time, whether it's nine days or 90 days across the country, or you guessed it, across town, you go ahead and give me a shout, call, text, email, and I'll help you make your move exactly what you want it to be. Till next time, I look forward to showing you around town.